sisters, we are friends, we are teachers, we are leaders. We Welcome to Heal Talk. This is Lisa. Today's segment is about labels. It's about the labels and the titles that has been given to us from a long time, perhaps as a childhood until this very moment, or perhaps even the titles and labels and names, not only that they have been given to you, but the ones that you have come to accept without realizing how you have come to label yourself and what you call yourself. Some call themselves, I am depressed, I am anxious, I am fat, I am worried, I am overwhelmed, I am, I am. So when I ask them, is that truly you or is that a label and a name that you have placed upon you or have accepted because someone and somewhere told you so? You see, the most beautiful thing is for us to sit back for a moment and think, is that truly me? Is that my core authentic person? And accepting your own self, the true core, everything from the inside out, you come to believe in you. And there is nothing more important and worthy than you having a belief from the inside, believing in you. Remember that little child within you tapping inside and saying, I see you, see me. I see you, see me. You matter. I matter. And with that, recognize the true identity of who you are. Peel away the labels and the titles that are no longer worthy of you and nor enhance you. And as I say, keep the best and dump the rest. Live victoriously. You matter. of the Latina woman. You know, first of all, the role of the Latina woman is the role of women, of a woman, um, in so many areas. You know, at home, mm -hmm. as, a, as a great mentor and example to, to her children, uh, as a nurturer, as a loving partner at home, um, a working member of the community and the society, uh, part of the family because if it's anything like me, like this Latina woman, I couldn't have done what I did without the people around me, without family, without friends, a sister, my God, that was like a second mother to my girls, a mother-in-law, my mom, my father, a supportive husband, friends, and then a whole system in your community, you know, great schools, great after-school care, you know, because I was a working woman, and I think I, the role of the Latina woman continues to be just that. Adele Ruzriaga, this is your life. Your story of how I came to be. I would say the quest for independence, financial independence, more than anything else. How would you say, how, what is the message that you will give for our viewers, for them to stand up for themselves? The B. We've heard this cliche, be true to yourself. We've heard that. When you're young, it's very difficult because most of us do look for approval and we want everybody to like us right. 
I think when you come to the point when you are clear who you want to be, what you stand for, whether somebody likes you for it or not, and you know these are your values. But in the end, I have to say, I have to be true to myself, which is like we are all one. We are all souls looking for our expansion, for our highest discovery of ourselves. I would say there's nothing like being loved just for the way you are. Okay, Betsy Chassie, Chassie is that's what I, I, Chassie. Chassie. I'm a chase for so I, it, it actually you're it means to hunt so you're kind of right when you say Betsy Chase but Betsy Chassie oh, Chassie Chassie um who am I you know really I'm a mom I'm a storyteller I'm a human trying to figure out what the hell is going on here and why am I here and what the, what am I supposed to do and I'm really lucky and grateful that. I get to go on this journey and then share it through film and storytelling. As a woman, does it take a lot to have credibility in, in your industry? So that's a hard question because the, the right answer is yes. So that's the politically right answer. Um, the right answer is for me as a woman to stand with my other women and say yes. Okay. But the truth is for me personally, I've just never subscribed to that philosophy. You know, all my, when I was about 19 years old, I started working behind the camera, and that was when I really said, I want to be a major head of a studio. And so all my friends went off to film school, and while they all went off to film school, I just started working, and four years later, when they're getting out of film school, I was hiring them as my production assistant. I'm perpetually calm and excited at, simultaneously all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm just, like, I just love life. I have, a Jack, I have a Jack Kerouac quote that is my motto. And he says, be in love with your life every minute of it. And that's my motto. I was born <laughs> with sickle cell disease, uh, which is a um, red cell, red blood cell uh, genetic disease. Uh, that is, uh, has painful episodes, so I've had acute pain on and off all my life. And, um, but I would call two significant um, moments in my life when I was young. One was at age five that I wanted to dedicate my life to God, and I wanted to serve others, period. I wanted to follow Mother Teresa. And I recall the conversation that I had with God, and I said, um, God, if you want me to live, then you have to give me the ability to live with joy. Because unless I can live with joy, then I just want to die. And I remember at that moment that I no longer would go through the ups and downs, even if I had pain, of being uh, depressed and then having to recover from all those episodes. No longer. And so... I was given the ability to live with joy from that point on, no matter what. There's a voice that softly What I'd love to say and share with women is that no matter how low you are in life, no matter how distraught, no matter how um, helpless, how powerless you feel, there is a spark, something in you that can be a gift to others. Concentrate on that gift and give it to others and see how much empowered you will be with that, how much you will gain by that and you will become the giver of gifts to others. The best gift is I feel that I have been chosen to be a servant of God. I, I feel I've put on this earth to serve Him and I, I'm just honored 
to be able to do that. And uh, it's something that I take it very seriously. I take serving others very seriously because I think it's a charge that was given to me and a gift. It's not more than a, a charge, it's a gift. There's a voice that's softly whispering This is all new. <laughs> the whole learning about yourself and really diving deep in and transforming, it's all new. Okay, so now you just segue into something mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. Who was it about before? Me, but in a negative way. Where it was all about me and I wasn't seeing other people. Now it's all about you, but in a better way? In a more compassionate way, to myself and to others. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whereas before it was... Oh, it's just about me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But that was coming from pain. That was me not seeing other people. That was me just thinking about myself, you know? That was me keeping myself away from people in an arm's length, you know? Okay. Now I bring people in. So when do you believe you arrived being a woman? Gosh, a year ago, <laughs> <laughs> very recently, and in that I've transformed so much. I dived in head first and just was like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how deep the water is, let's go. <laughs> I'm going into the deepest mm -hmm. end yes. of coming through. Mm -hmm. And that's resonating with you. It's making you emotional at this very moment. Yes. What is? I'm proud of myself. There's a voice that's softly whispering. What does feminine energy or femininity mean to you? That um, we have this power. The femininity is the, the gift that we all have. And we need to use it and share it in the most perfection way as we all are. We have to live in now. We're spending so much, including myself, we're uh, spending so much thinking about the past, oh, why I didn't do that, and then planning the future. And we're losing the moment. And that moment can become, tomorrow can be a past. So here we are regretting again. So living in now, and don't take everything seriously because everything happening for the reason. Mm -hmm. We are not a victim. We are here because we, we wanted to be here and we're here for the challenge that we ask for. It's not a punishment. That's what I think. Patricia is an amazing warrior woman who is very caring, who has lots of family and friends and very loving, but strong, like a warrior. That's who I am. As a woman, I am a sexy, amazing, fun, interesting person who is a businesswoman, who is a grandmother, about to be a great-grandmother, a parent, and just a, a pretty cool person who's got it pretty much figured out, most of it. Follow your dream, don't give up, be strong. In life, you can be beautiful, you can be fit, you can be all those things, but of everything, the most important is to be strong. If you're strong, you're beautiful, you're intriguing, you're fit. Work on your strength.
Your strength is the most important attribute that you will ever have. There's a voice that's softly whispering in medical corporation and then I have a horse corporation where I've competed my whole life with horses and I hold two worlds and six national championships ever since I was four I've been riding and I'm now 50. So if I have a challenge in a day or let's say I have a pivotal event, a tragedy that we want to say, it doesn't matter. I still go to them. If I'm just a quiet day. I still go to them. If I'm exuberant and happy, I go to them because they they share that with me. So I I would say I used to say you know my horses could carry the burdens in life that I cannot. Mm. So the saying is when we go to the stables, when we go through that gate, we leave it all behind us. It's that inner strength. How do, how do I keep going and push yourself and push yourself? It's what do you want from within? What do you want for yourself, not for anybody else? I think that's where people get caught up. If someone is truly loved, then you have everything. Everything. You don't have to have horses, you don't have to have this or that, but if you have true love, you have everything. And you have to be able to love yourself first. <laughs> what if today you wake up and say, and I want to do a hug, and I want to keep this moment for ourselves, and this is it. And with that, I thank you and look forward our, to our next segment. <laughs> oh, it's not hokey pokey. That's why you did so. I wanted to go. Oh, that was true. Inspiration. You got it. Liberation. Get started. Celebration. All the gifts you are. I'll help you break through to be